Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Hello, Lisette. Welcome. Welcome to a new a new module, a new class, a new experience. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? I'm what? fine, thank you. Fine, very good, right, very good. When you say, how are you doing? You say, very good, excellent, so-so, very nice. A little nervous, I don't know, tired. Maybe because it was a long day and you are tired. You're like, ah, you're tired, right? So now if I say like, how are you doing? You say, very good, teacher. Very excellent. good. Excellent. Very good, Hi. excellent. <laughs> excellent, very nice. Hello, uh, Catherine. Hello, Hazel. Mr. Jason, that is part of the class. That's very nice. Welcome to pre-intermediate one, right? This is going to be a new experience for us. And I want to know if it is your first time in the, in the program or if you were here before. Es su primera vez en el programa en inglés corporativo o ya habían estado en módulos anteriores? Primera vez. It's the first time for Jonathan. Good. First time. The first time. Uh, Lisa, eh, yo no, ya he estado, estuve en los tres módulos anteriores Excellent. de principiante. Excelente. Ah, ok. You were from beginner one, two, and three. Congrats. Ok, ya tenemos sí, una graduada sí. de beginner. Very good. Catherine. <laughs> eh, sí, anteriormente he estado en un programa de inglés, pero fue hace un par de años. Ok. ¿En inglés corporativo es su primera vez? Sí, primera okay. vez. Welcome. Hazel y Mariela. Hola, yo ya estuve en los otros tres módulos. Excelente. Ah, otra graduada de beginner. Very good. Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. In my case, it's the second time. It's the second time. Ok. Good. Marlon Barrientos. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Es en su primera my... vez o ya había estado antes en inglés corporativo? Es mi tercera vez consecutiva, teacher. Excelente. De hecho, el, el nivel con el que empecé el principiante 2, usted fue la... Ah, I, la I knew. <laughs> I knew it. Yo sabía que ese nombre lo conocía. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Ok, thank you Excellent. very much. Excellent. Welcome back. Nos volvimos, ya ve que nos volvemos a encontrar en esta vida. Y sí, allá llorando yes. aquella vez de que ya no nos íbamos a volver a ver. No. <laughs> ok. Sí. Marisol. Marisol, is it your first time in inglés corporativo or no? Hello, Marisol de Cermeño. No, teacher. Okay, she says no, teacher. Continue. Now you are continuing. Very good. Angelica Lasso? Yes. Thank you. Angelica Lasso, ¿es tu primera vez o ya, ya habías estado en, en inglés corporativo antes? Hello. Good Hi. evening. Uh, no, this isn't my first time with English com Corporative. Excellent. So welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed the experience. Rebecca Pereira. ¿Ya habías estado antes en English Corporative o es tu primera vez? Es mi primera vez. Ah, your first time. I am very glad to be your first teacher. Excellent. Angela Xiomara. Is it your first time or you have been here before? No, es mi primera vez. Ay, welcome. Welcome to English Corporativo. Mónica Escobar. ¿Es tu primera vez o ya habías estado antes con nosotros? Good 
¿ok? Bueno, si me escuchan, más adelante me pueden contestar. And here we go. And Marisol, eh, well, I asked Marisol already. Well, welcome to eh, pre-intermediate one. My name is Natalie de Flores. I am going to be your teacher in this adventure of learning, right? I am very, very glad, very excited to have the opportunity to be your teacher in these 16 days, okay? Hello, Jocelyn. It's nice to see you again. Hello. Okay, Jocelyn was my student too. Hello. Ah, Hello, teacher. How are you? I am very happy to see you again. Ah, I feel very Me glad. too, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. You see? Esa es la alegría de inglés corporativo. Volvernos a encontrar otra vez, seguir esta aventura de aprendizaje. Y pues para mí va a ser un gran honor servirles. Siéntanse en la total confianza de pedir ayuda. Somos una familia chiquitita. El hecho de que nos veamos todos los días, a veces hasta se siente así raro el viernes cuando no los veo. Yo digo, ¿qué andarán haciendo? ¿Qué andarán? ¿Estarán bien? ¿Te ¿Estarán comiendo? ¿Ya habrán cenado? Cuando ya los vengo a ver el lunes de nuevo, ya los veo ya un poquito más relajados, ya más descansados. Es, es de veras una alegría compartir este pedacito de vida que tenemos en estos 16 días. Espero darles lo mejor de mí. Voy a hacer todo lo posible porque ustedes aprendan, tengan nuevos conocimientos, disfruten el hecho de estar aquí. Sé que no es fácil. Hola, Vanessa. <ríe> sé que no es fácil a veces conectarnos a las 8 de la noche y decir, ah, oh, ahora te estuviera durmiendo. Pero estamos aprendiendo. Estamos aprendiendo, estamos mejorando nuestras vidas, estamos siendo un ejemplo para nuestras familias, para nuestros hijos, para nuestros esposos, esposas, de que queremos salir adelante. Así que siéntanse en la confianza. Si se traban en alguna plataforma, pregúntenme. Yo estoy ahí siempre pendiente de contestarle rápido y si no, entre todos, nos apoyamos. Ok. Las clases, yo siempre, siempre tengo la idea de que si vamos a aprender algo, como aprendimos español, vamos a aprender inglés. Oyendo, repitiendo, practicando y poniendo en práctica el inglés en inglés. Así que quizás va a ser una de las pocas veces que me van a oír hablar español porque eh, mi idea es que ustedes también produzcan, escuchen el idioma, lo, bueno, participen de esto y que la experiencia sea realmente gratificante para ambos lados. Si de repente se me van las carretas y voy muy rápido y voy y ahí, teacher, no lo entiendo. Dígame, teacher, can you explain again? Y yo con mucho gusto detengo, vuelvo a explicar. ¿Ok? Para que todos vayamos avanzando al mismo ritmo. ¿Ok? Si hay un tema que no hemos entendido y queremos reforzarlo, teacher, ¿me podría compartir información de este tema? Y yo con muchísimo gusto se las comparto por medio del WhatsApp. Hagamos uso del, del grupo de WhatsApp, para eso está, para que nos comuniquemos y todo, no para mandar memes ni stickers. No. Si sí podemos mandar uno que otro sticker educativo que okay, relacionado a la clase y eh, ayudarnos. Si de repente encuentran algún material que les funcione para algún tema específico que estemos viendo, compartan. Yo con muchísimo gusto, si encuentro algo, ahí lo voy a estar llenando de, de documentos para que ustedes sigan aprendiendo. Igual, si tienen algún inconveniente para conectarse a la clase, háganlo saber ahí, teacher. Y me pueden mandar un mensajito, teacher, fíjense que eh, no puedo estar en la clase, pero la voy a ver en el video. Tenemos un link de YouTube que está en las indicaciones que les enviaron. Ahí están todas las clases. Yo subo las clases todos los días y ahí la pueden encontrar. Si por A o B motivo no se pueden conectar. Ok, así que ya sin más preámbulo. Eh, aquí estoy para servirles. Mi nombre es Natalie de Flores. Soy licenciada en idiomas. Tengo 18 años de experiencia docente, pero como una buena estudiante, creo que el docente que no sigue aprendiendo tiene que quitarle el derecho a seguir enseñando. Así que yo ahí vivo leyendo, practicando, poniendo en práctica todos esos conocimientos para traerles lo mejor a cada uno de ustedes. Así que espero que disfruten esto tanto como yo lo disfruto este día. Yo lo he esperado un montón ¿Quiénes van a ser mis alumnos? ¿Con quién me va a tocar? ¿A quién voy a ver? Ah, 
Eso ha sido una gran emoción. Y ha sido mucha más emoción ver alumnos que ya había conocido antes. Así que eh, les voy a compartir unas cuantas eh, reglas para nuestra clase, porque también como todo proceso también tiene sus reglas. Eh, la primera de ellas me va a ayudar Angélica Lazo a leerla. Class agreements. Agreements, ajá. Uh -huh. What is the first one? Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Jonathan, can you read the second one? Be respectful and polite. And polite, right? Be respectful and polite. Oscar Chacon, can you read the next one, number three? Yes. Attend all your classes. Attend all your classes. Good. Heidi, can you read number four? Keep your cameras active all the time. Keep your cameras active all the time. And I want to stop in this point. De repente me dicen, no, teacher, pero es que fíjense que aquí, aquí de repente pasa la gente y está como, no me gusta. No, don't worry, okay? No estamos aquí para criticar ninguno de los espacios, sino para ver que ustedes participen. ¿Para qué me sirve a mí la cámara? Para ver que ustedes produzcan, que ustedes muevan, eh, articulen de la mejor manera posible. Y me sirve también para saber que están presentes en la clase. Si de repente me dice, es que estoy cenando así más o menos. It's okay. It's okay. Right? The idea is that you are here. Okay? A mí lo más importante es verlos, que estén aquí, que estén participando, que estén atentos. Que tengan su cuaderno, su lapicero, su lápiz. Quiero ver si todos lo tienen. A ver, muéstrenlo. Un lápiz, un lapicero, un cuaderno. Muéstrenlo por ahí. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ajá. Very good. Eso es lo importante. Que tengan en que anotar. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Ok, very good. Que tengan en qué anotar para que ustedes también puedan ir tomando nota. Excelente. Si no, vamos a quitarle el cuaderno al niño ahí más cercano. Al niño más cercano hay que darlo sin cuaderno. The next one. Let me see. Mr. Guillermo, can you read the next one? Oh, yeah. It's work on the educational platform. Work on the educational platform. Okay, ya la vamos a ver por ahí. And the last one, Jocelyn, can you read it? Keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group. Excellent. Keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group. Okay, the group is for that. The group is for you to use it, for you to practice, for you to share. Okay, that's the idea of the group. And what is the educational platform, right? We know that we have our platform. That is this one, right? Esa es la plataforma. Creo que ya todos tienen acceso a ella. Y si no me confirman aquí, si alguien no tiene acceso a la plataforma. ¿Todos tienen acceso? Sí. Yes, yes. teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes. very yes. good. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, fantastic. So if you don't have access to the platform, is right there, inglescorporativo, el correo con el que se inscribieron, y la contraseña es la misma para todos, right? Y si no, ya la vamos a pasar ahí por el medio del grupo de WhatsApp, si no, se, si no se recuerdan de la contraseña. We have inglés preintermedio módulo 1, and in here we have five different sections, okay? We have five sections in four weeks, so what is the idea? That in the first week, we are going to complete sections one and a part of section two. In the second week, you have to work on section two and a little bit of section three, right? Section three has a specific part that it's called midterm exams, okay? Estos tienen que estar terminados para alrededor de la semana, de la segunda semana principio de la tercera semana. Tenemos que haber completado estas tres secciones, okay? Para el inicio de la cuarta semana, terminamos la sección número 4 e iniciamos la 5. Y para el final de la cuarta semana, tenemos que haber terminado todo nuestro trabajo en la plataforma. ¿Okay? 
Para los que es primera vez que nos, que, que se unen a inglés corporativo, cada una de las secciones tiene diferentes eh, subpartes, le podríamos llamar. ¿Ok? Déjenme abrir una. El internet se puso nervioso. Se llama, oh, me están viendo los estudiantes. Se puso nervioso, ya no yeah. cargo. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that. Ok, so. Here we're going to wait. Ok, vamos a esperar a que, a que esto camine. Ok. Mientras tanto, qué lindo octubre, a cuántos vientos, qué bonito noviembre ahora. <laughs> no me cargue la internet. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Finally. Ok, so. Eh, dentro de cada una de las secciones tenemos como mini secciones que tenemos que ir completando. Tenemos siempre la sección, la sección de los objetivos, un video informativo donde vemos el tema, ¿ok? También tenemos el siguiente objetivo de la lección, el siguiente video explicativo, ¿ok? Y tenemos mini evaluaciones de lo que vamos estudiando, ¿ok? Estas usted las puede ir haciendo por adelantado sin ningún problema y pues eh, si nos trabamos si tenemos alguna duda o algo podemos ir preguntando no se preocupe la cuestión es que ustedes avancen tanto como puedan en la plataforma para que la puedan completar aún cuando no hayamos terminado las clases usted puede avanzar en la plataforma tanto como quiera pero eso sí vea los videos vea la, los objetivos no la vaya haciendo así solo por hacerla ¿verdad? Porque esa es la idea de la plataforma, que usted también complemente su aprendizaje por medio de ella. Ahí se pueden dar cuenta que tenemos diferentes secciones y evaluaciones. Solo en esta sección tenemos tres evaluaciones. En evaluaciones como esta, tenemos que tener mucho cuidado al momento de escribir. ¿Por qué? Porque la plataforma es muy celosa con las mayúsculas, con los puntos, con los espacios entre las letras. Hay que tener mucho cuidado con estos detalles, ¿ok? Y no olvidarnos de colocar el punto final si la oración no lo tiene. ¿Ok? Así que esto es la plataforma. Así se ve. Y así la podemos ir avanzando poco a poco. Si se fijan, solo en esta sección 1 tenemos cinco ejercicios chiquitos. Muchos de ellos los vamos a hacer en las clases también. Para que ustedes los puedan ir completando. ¿Ok? Lleven las secciones ordenadas. No dejen ejercicios sin hacer porque eh, eso les va a servir al final cuando ustedes vean su progreso. Su progreso tiene que estar arriba del 80%. ¿okay? Tiene que pasar arriba del 80%, pero yo sé que todos mis estudiantes siempre lo pasan con 100%. Así que eh, cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta, cualquier cosa que se nos trae en la plataforma, no duden en preguntarme. ¿okay? Así que eh, esta es nuestra plataforma. Para los que ya tienen acceso a ella, para los que ya la conocen desde antes y para los que la van conociendo ahorita, pues los invito a que entren, que la vean y que vayan a curiosear ahí todos los detalles de ella. ¿Okay? ¿Preguntas hasta este momento? No, teacher. Claro. Ajá. Sí. Yes. ¿Por qué en la plataforma me aparece su, inscri su inscripción, ruta y asistente? Y me dice que esto no incluye un certificado. Ok, ¿a dónde, eh, ¿a dónde le aparece eso? Perdón. Eh, progreso. Ah, quizás porque no has hecho, no has hecho nada en este momento. Eh, sí he hecho. Sí pero... has avanzado. Sí, sí. Entonces, cuando la plataforma alcance un cierto nivel, ahí es donde se van habilitando las otras opciones. Ok. okay. okay. Ya cuando, por ejemplo, ya has pasado tres, cuatro secciones que ya van arriba de 80% o al 100%, ahí se van habilitando más partes de la plataforma. Okay. okay, thank you. Excellent. So, this is the platform, right? This is the platform and these are the exercises that you have to make. I am going to be very pendant of your progress, okay? Tanto Inglés Corporativo como yo, estamos bien pendientes de todos sus avances. ¿Cómo van? Ahí les voy a estar preguntando a cada rato. ¿Cuánto han avanzado? ¿Cuánto han trabajado? ¿Cuánto les falta? Okay, así que ahí me van a estar ahí contestando bastante acerca de eso. Ok, so, 
let's move on business and let's work in the class. Okay, so today we are going to work a little bit about possessive adjectives and statements with the verb to be. I am your teacher, Miss Natalie Flores. This is class number one, right? This is class number one. Ya lo estoy mandando la clase tres. And we're going to start the class with a short conversation, right? We're going to start the class with a conversation in a party. And the conversation goes like this. And it says, hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Questions about these new words, new vocabulary? If you have new vocabulary, you tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of? And then you can ask me a question. If there are no questions, you say clear. Clear, teacher. Clear. All this section clear. is clear. Good. Very good. So let's continue with the next section. And it says, oh, good. Son, he is here. Who's son, he? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Uh, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R S. Oh no, sorry. G A R Z A. Garza. Good. So when you are meeting another person for the first time, it is important that if you have a very favorite name, you can say, but please call me Beth. For example, I can say, my name is Natalie, but please call me Natty. That's the way. I really like to be called. And when uh, you use an expression like this one, like, so is Brazil, right? Mexico is beautiful, so is Brazil. It's like, también Brazil. So that's mm -hmm. the way we use it. If I introduce myself, you say, hello, I am Natalia Flores. I am your new teacher. And you say, hi, my name is, and you give me your name, but please call me. And then you give me the name that you prefer. Oh, where are you from? And I am going to give you your name. And you are going to tell me El Salvador. How about you? I am from El Salvador too. And say, oh, I love El Salvador. It's really beautiful. Thanks. Aquí no les puedo decir, so is El Salvador because the two of us are from the same country, right? I am going to make one example with Mario Barahona. Hello, Mario. I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new teacher. Hi, my name is Mario Barahona, but please call me Mario. Okay. Where are you from, Mario? I'm from El Salvador. How oh, about you? I love El Salvador. No, no, no. You have to ask me the question. Okay. How about you? Me perdí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, El Salvador. Uh, oh, no, about you. Aquí no pasó nada. Aquí no pasó nada. <clears throat> okay, I am going to practice this with Mario. Uh -huh. Hello, Mario. I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hi, my name is Mario Barahona, but uh, please call me Mario. Okay, where are you from, Mario? I'm from El Salvador. How about, how about you? Um, I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is El Salvador. Thank you very much. Claps for Mario. <laughs> Claps. Yay. Thanks. Yeah. Los aplausos son gratis. No se preocupe. <laughs> <laughs> Aplauso <laughs> para Mario. Yay. Very good. So I am going to go with Vanessa Carranza. Excellent. Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hello, teacher. My name is Vanessa Carranza, but please call me Vane. Okay, Vane, where are you from? I, I'm from El Salvador. Who are, how about you? 
Okay, I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So is El Salvador. Excellent claps for Vanessa. Very good job. Very good job. Excellent. Now I am going to go with Manuel. Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Oh, sorry. Hello. I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hi, Natalie. My name is Manuel Cuerno, but please call me Manuel. Okay. Where are you from, Manuel? El Salvador, Central America. How about you? I am from uh, the United States. Oh, I love the United States. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So is El Salvador. Very nice job, Manuel. Very good. Claps for Manuel. Very good. Now I am going to go with Heidi. Hello, Heidi. I am Natalia Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hi, my name is Vanessa Diaz, but please call me Bane. Uh, okay, where are you from, Bane? El Salvador. How about you? I am from Russia. <laughs> oh, I love <laughs> Russia. 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 <laughs> it is really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so is El Salvador. Thank you very much. Hey, very nice job. Claps for you. Mr. Jonathan Gabriel. Hello. I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hi, Natalie. My name is Jonathan Gabriel, but please call me Jonathan. Okay. Where are you from, Jonathan? El Salvador. How about you? I am from Japan. How? Oh, I love Japan. It's beautiful. It's really <laughs> Thank beautiful. Thank you. So is El Salvador. Very nice job. Yay. Claps for Jonathan. Very good. So you see, that's the way you introduce yourself to another group, right? You introduce yourself to another person. Let's go with the second part of the conversation. In the second part of the conversation, we are going to talk about another person, right? And we are not talking about the two of us, but we are talking about someone different. And it says, oh, good. You see, Hazel Mariela is here. And you say, who's Hazel Mariela? Ah, she's my classmate. We are in the same English class. Where is she from? Ah, she's from El Salvador. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Flores? No, it's Flores. How do you spell that? F-L-O-R-E-S. Okay, so that's the way you introduce someone else. I am going to do this with, let me see, Angela Xiomara. Do you want to help me? Yes. Okay, Angela. We're going to do the first part of the conversation and the second part. Okay, in the second part, we are going to talk about Oscar Chacón, okay? Vamos a hablar de Oscar Chacón, que ya vino a la clase. Okay, hello, I am Natalie de Flores. I am your new English teacher. Hi, my name is Angela Duran. But we co please call me Angela. Okay, where are you from, Angela? I'm from El Salvador. How about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So is El Salvador. Oh, good. Uh, Oscar Chacón is here. Who's Oscar Chacón? She is my classmate. We're in the same math class. English class. <laughs> English class, sorry. Oh, uh, where is he from? El Salvador. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Chacón? <laughs> Actually, it's Flores. Flores. How do you spell that? F-L-O-R-E-S. Very good job, Angela. You did a very nice job. Excellent. Now, Mr. Oscar Chacón. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Mr. hi. Oscar Chacón. Let's go and do it. Uh, Oscar Chacón, this is Angela. She is a new student from the class. Nice to meet you. Angela. Angela. I am Oscar Chacón. Angela. Nice to meet you, Oscar. 
Okay, nice to meet you, Oscar. That, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And Angela. Aha. Okay, she is from El Salvador. Yeah, that's cool. What is, what's uh, El Salvador so like. like? What's El Salvador like? What's El Salvador like? It's really nice. It's a it's a little and very exciting. <laughs> it's little and very yeah. exciting. Little. Very good job. Yay! <laughs> Reactions for my class. Very nice. Ya ven, los agarré en curva y sobrevivieron. That was very good. Yay. That's very nice. So in this one, you can see that you made a talk between two people, including a third person, and then introducing another member of the class. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? I am going to show you this one, right? I am going to show you this information about you. And here we have, my first name is, my last name is, I am, and you are going to reveal the reality. I am 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 40, 50, 60, 100 years old. I am from, you can invent a country if you want, or you can say that you are from El Salvador. I live in, and you have to give me the name of the city. And for sure, I am, and you include your nationality, okay? So this is what you are going to do. Right now, do it in your notebook in a very quick way because you are going to use it. Lo vamos a hacer en nuestro cuaderno ahorita porque lo vamos a ocupar. And then we are going to go and introduce ourselves in uh, mini groups, right? We are going to do this in mini groups. So right now, answer, answer this one in your notebook. And later on, you are going to use this information in the groups that we are going to be working on. Okay, let me know when you have it. Finish. Okay, if finish. you finish, if Not you teacher. finish, no, 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 teacher. don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Don't worry, you can do it right now. Let me see. Okay, and in a moment, I am going to send you to work in different groups and you are going to introduce yourselves to the group. Okay, you are going to say, hello group, my name is, my last name is, I am 37 years old, I am from El Salvador, I live in uh, Santa Ana, I don't know, San Miguel, La Union, Morazan, I don't know where you live, right? And uh, you're going to say, I am Salvadorian. You can include more information about you if you want, okay? Ready, class? Ready, teacher. Very ready. 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 Okay, so you are ready. going to receive an invitation for you to join a group. And I need you to go and share in the different groups, okay? There okay. you go. You will receive an invitation right now. And I am going to go and visit the groups, okay? Go ahead, join the different groups and share. Very good. Most of you are joining the groups. That's very nice. Excellent job. I think all the students are in the different groups. I am going to go and check how they are doing. 
right now. I am going to send a message to them. Remember to share your personal information with the group. So this is what we are going to be doing. Okay, I am going to go to the first group to see how they are doing. No. Hello. My first name is Jose. My last name is Guillem. I am 32 years old. I am from Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Nice to meet you, Jose. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. You want to? Okay. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa and Monica. Hi. Tell me about my, you. My first name is Monica. My last name is Escobar. I am 22 years old. I am from La Libertad. I live in Ciudad Arce. I am Salvadorian. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So in this case, the proper names are the same, right? I am from La Libertad. It's the same. Good. Oh. Continue, continue. Tell me about you, Vanessa, Carolina. My hello, my first is my first name is Vanessa. My, my last name is Rivera. I am 25 years old. I am from San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I am Lopango. Okay. Salvadorian. Then you are Salvadorian, right? You are Salvadorian. Uh -huh. You live you live in Ilopango. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so you say my first, my first name is, right? My first. My first. There you go. Con Jocelyn. Okay, me. My first name is Jocelyn. My last name is Agreda. I am 26 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Armenia, Sonsonate, and I am Salvadorian. Nice. Okay, entonces lo voy a volver a intentar de nuevo, como me equivoqué, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. Vamos a intentarlo. Yeah. Go, my, Jonathan, go. My first name is Jonathan. My last name is Rubio. I am 20 years old. I'm from El Salvador, El Salvador country. I living in El Salvador, and uh, I am Salvadorian. Nice, very good. When you say I live in, I live in, you tell me the city, right? I live in Santa Ana. I live in San Salvador, in Ilopango, San Marcos, any type of city okay. that you live in. Okay, very good job. Thank you. Another one. The next one. The next one, yes. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> complete, complete everyone. Yes. yes. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Good. <laughs> Let me check on the on the next ones. No. Okay. No, ya es una empresa por aparte. Okay. Good, we are sharing information here. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Did you finish? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Okay, so oh. let's go back to the class. Let's go back okay. to the class. Okay. Who's missing? Who's missing? Hello, Eric. How are you?
Okay. So now you have the opportunity to know your friends a little bit more, right? Now you have your mini groups there. Now you get to know people a little bit more. Ya tuvieron el chance de conocerse un poquito más. Ya ahora ya conocen a más de algún compañero. That's very good. So in this case, uh, I need three volunteers. Raise your hand. And me, teacher. I, okay. me, teacher. Good, good, good. All the me, 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 me. <laughs> Heidi, you go first and then Vanessa. Uh -huh. Introduce uh, yourself. Okay. okay. Uh, my first name is Vanessa. My last name is Diaz. I am 30 years old. I am from Chalchuapa country. I live in Soyapango. I am El Salvador. I am, I, am, I am Salvadorian. You say I am Salvadorian. You know, I am from Chalchuapa too. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I am from Chalchuapa too. Yay! Chalchuapa, the Where city, the city of the Yuca. Yes. yes. Very good. <laughs> Vanessa Carolina. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. Go ahead, Vanessa Carolina. My Vanessa Carolina and then Vanessa Carranza, okay. Vanessa Carolina. Go ahead. And Vanessa Carranza is next, don't worry. Aquí todos participan, no tengan pena. Okay. <laughs> Go es ahead. Entonces, ¿cómo pronunciar first? First, my, first. 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 My first name is Vanessa. My last name is Rivera. I am 25 years old. I am from San Salvador. I live in Milopango. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. Excellent. Excellent job. Vanessa Carranza, go ahead. My first name is Vanessa. My last name is Carranza. I am 28 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Simacuatro. I am Salvadorian. Excellent job. Very nice. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Go, go. Hello. Hello. Um, my first name is Eric. My last name is Ramirez. I am 31 years old. I am from San Salvador country. I live in Soyapango. I am Salvadorian. Very good. I am from El Salvador because that is the name of the country, right? I am from El Salvador. I live in and you tell me the city and I am Salvadorian. That was very good job. Thank you, Eric. Very nice, very nice. One more volunteer. Okay, go ahead, action. Okay, my first name is Oscar. My last name is Chacon. I am a 30 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Santa Tecla. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. Very nice. So that's it. You see, my first name. Repeat with me. My first name. My first, my first, my first, first name. name. My first name. My first name. Okay. Name. Cuando decimos la palabra name, cerramos la boca, right? My first name is. First name. Ok, porque name. un error bien común que dicen, eh, bueno, que hay muchas personas que están aprendiendo inglés, dice, my name is, no, ok, mm. cada vez que decimos name, se muere un diccionario, no maten a los diccionarios, <risa> my first name, my is first name, my first name, my first name, first is, name is Evelyn, is, is Mario, ajá, don't say Evelyn, because I am the only Evelyn here. <laughs> my first name is Evelyn. Everybody? My first name, first name is, is Mario. Is my first name, my first name, name is Katrin. Okay, my last name is Monterosa. My, my last, last name, name is Carola. I am uh, years old. <laughs> <laughs> I am 20 years old. I am 25 years old. I am 20 years old. I am 20 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I will be forever 15. If there is forever 21, I will be forever 15. No, with with a lot of, um, how can I say? Yeah, 
I am very glad to say I am 37 years old. 37 years old. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Do we have any American here? No, right? No. <laughs> okay, todos parecemos, pero no a ninguno. Ya, yeah, yo ya la par, del, la par del tazumal nací, así que. Anyway. I live in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. Good. I live in San we Salvador. Have, we have people from Sonsonate, right? That's very nice. I am Salvadorian. I am, I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian. Good. Very nice. Excellent job, everybody. So, for the different questions, if we have here, I'm sorry, what's your name again? What will be the correct answer? I'm sorry, what's your name again? B. It's Elizabeth Silva. Excellent. That's the answer, right? We say B. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? B. <laughs> no, I say it's Elizabeth <laughs> Silva, right? That's very good. Ese es, un, ese es otro problema que tenemos a veces en clase que le dice, what's the answer? A, B, C, teacher. No, give me the answer, right? The correct answer, right? Because you're not like, hey, what's your name? One. <laughs> no, right? You give your name. The next one. What do people call you? What everyone do calls me Beth. Everyone 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 the calls name. Me Beth. Okay, the name. Because here in El Salvador, we have El Chele, El Negro, El... I don't know. We have a lot of nicknames, <laughs> right? But here in the class, please use the name, okay? <laughs> so like El Pelón, El Chele, El No Se Que. El... <laughs> we have an infinity number of nicknames in El Salvador. How do you spell your last name? S. S. Okay, we're going to have a little competition right now. Who can give me the alphabet without making a mistake? ¿Quién me dice el alfabeto? From A to C. Without making a mistake. Uh -huh. I can try. I can try. Okay, go ahead. Oscar Chacón, try. And then Eric. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, M. You ate the I. I. I'm sorry. Quack, okay. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Eric Ramirez, go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K. I. 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 Sorry, I have a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I have a visitor in the class. Okay. Another one. Another one who Me gives teacher. a try. Go ahead, Me Marlon. A B D E. No, what is this? C? A B C D. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try it out. A B C D E F G H I. J K L M N O P Q R E S S S S Jonathan, Jonathan, go ahead. Okay, A B C D E F G A No. Another one. Vanessa Carranza, go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K. Ay. 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 <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> for tomorrow, yeah. I need you to practice the alphabet, people. Because oh. imagine if I say, how do you spell your last name? I am going to check on the, on the longest last name. Amanda Menendez, how do you spell your last name? Uh, yes, it's um, M E N E N D E C. Z. Good, you survived. Very good. Let's see. 
Uh, Mr. Sanchez, Francisco Isaac, how do you spell your last name? Okay, is S A N C H E Z. Very good. Mr. Manuel Cuerno, how do you spell your last name? C U E R N O. Good. Angela, how do you spell your second name? X I O M A R A R A R A. Mr. Mario, how do you spell your last name? P A R A H O N A. Very good. <laughs> Jocelyn, Agreda, how do you spell that? My last name. Yes. A-G-R-E-D-A. -E okay, so practice spelling, right? Because maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow you are going to use it in a little dictation. <laughs> We're going to use it here. <clears throat> maybe. Practice. So we're going to go over in uh, these uh, last 10 minutes that we have left about a statement with be and the possessive adjectives. I know you studied this before, right? But it is always good to remember it. It's always good to check it out because it is always necessary, right? In the verb to be, remember that we have different forms. You have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, and they are. Be careful not to confuse he and she. Because you cannot say, she is Mario. Because it's a man. Right? It's like, whoop, what? Hello? Yeah? He is my teacher. Really? A mustache is going to come in me, right? So you say, um, she is my dog. Right. In many of the cases, we use it because we know that it's a lady, right? But it's a her. But the correct form is it. It is my dog, right? We, when you are included, we, nosotros, and they, when you are not included, okay? The contractions of these ones, you say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, and they are. How do you read the contractions? You say, am. Your, his, she's, it's, we're, there. That's the way you read the contractions. But the possessive adjectives for these ones, you say, I am Natalie. My name is Natalie, right? You are my friend. Your name is Vanessa. He is Marlon. His name is Marlon, right? This one will be el mío, el suyo, right? Suyo, de él. Her, suyo, de ella. It's, eso, suyo, de eso, right? Our, nuestro, nuestro. and their, el de ellos. de ellos. Okay, they are my friends. Their names are Sus sería en este caso. Sus nombres son. So these are possessive adjectives. Remember that for you, they, and we, you use are. And for he, she, and it, you use is. And for the only one that you use am is for I. Tell me, Guillermo, what is your question? Uh, yeah, what is the difference when you use the there? Uh... The contraction of there and when you use the positive adjective there okay it's the pronunciation is similar because you say there okay but you can say they are my friends en este caso sabemos que la contracción es el verbo but if you say their names and i'm going to write it here their names are pedro and Juanita, right? It is different. But because here I can say, I am going to give you one example on this one. They are my friends. Okay, they are my friends. 
Y aquí en este caso estamos diciendo, they are, ellos son mis amigos. And in this case, their names are Pedro and Juanita, sus nombres son. Ok, in this case, their significa sus. Ok, sus nombres son Pedro y Juanita. Ok, that's the difference. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Thank Great. you so much. Very good. It's good. That's a very good question. Ok. A veces nosotros decimos, no, no pregunto, me da pena. Pero quizás hay otros 15 más que tenían la misma duda. That's a very good thing. Ok. So, I can say, they are my students. Their names are, and I can say, their names are Vanessa, Amanda, Angela, Angelica, Eric, Francisco, Guillermo, Hazel, Heidi. And I can give you all the names of my students. Right? That it's a very good thing. And you can say, you are my teacher. Your name is Nati. Okay? She is my teacher. Her name is Nati. He is my student. His name is Guillermo. Okay, so that's the way we use the possessive forms. And what is the best way to understand a topic than with a little bit of practice, okay? Let's just check. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo posesivo para I am? In this case, para I? My. My. Para you? Your. Your. Para he? His. Para she? Hair. 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 Para it. It. Para we. Our. 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 And para they. There. There. La pronunciación de it's con it is eh, y el it's es igual. It's, it's similar, right? The it's, pronunciation it's, is it's, similar. Okay. You say it's and it's. But okay. the use is going to be different, okay? The use is going to be very different. Okay, so let's go over this one. And I am going to show you a little exercise here. Okay, here, remember the different forms and the different uses, right? In this case, we have, my name is David Garza. David Garza. I am from Mexico. I am from Family Mexico. Family is in Mexico City. Family is in Mexico City. What do you think we need to use here? ¿Qué tendríamos que ocupar aquí? Si estamos hablando de I. I, I, uh, I am from Mexico. My, my, my family. family. My, my, my family, family is in Mexico City. My brother. My brother is, is a university, is, is. Is a is, university is, student. Is, is. Si estamos hablando de mi hermano. His name. His, his name. His name is Carlos. Okay. In this case, you say, name my is name. son he. Good. My oh. name. So you say, my name is son he Park. I am 20 years old. My sister is a student here. Is a student. Is a student here too. Si estamos hablando de me and my sister. My. Our. 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 Right our. 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 our parents are in Korea right now. I am our. Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name. My last name is Silva. My last name is Silva. I am a student. I am. I am. I am a student I am. at City College. My parents are my parents, two people, plural. Are my are. parents are on vacation this week. Si estamos hablando de mis papás, yo no soy incluida. They are yes. Very good. They are, right? are they are or they are they are in los angeles okay so that's the way we use it right in this case let's read the first one let's read the first one katherine reyes can you help me to read the first one okay my name is david garza i am from mexico my family it is in mexico city 
My brother is a university student. Ne his? His name is Carlos. Very good. Number two. Uh, Mr. Manuel. Okay. My name is Song He Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here. Two, our parents are in Korea right now. Or parents. Parents. Or parents. Or parents. 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 Very parents. Good. Hey, Sel Mariela, can you help me with number three? Yes. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They are in Los Angeles. My parents. My, my parents. parents. Very good job. Well, my dear students, tomorrow we are going to continue practicing a little bit more. You see, time flies when you are having fun. Ni sentimos por donde se nos fue la hora de clase. Well, so I am going to see you tomorrow. Continue practicing. If you have the opportunity to go to the platform, do it. Okay. So it has okay. been a pleasure for me to serve you today. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful okay, night. Bye. 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 A pleasure bye. to meet you. See bye. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.